This is a demonstration of a lumbar roll manipulation focusing on the level of L5 S1. I've got my patient facing me sideline, and what I'm going to ask my patient to do is to straighten out his bottom leg. With the top leg, I'm just going to hook that foot behind the knee in that crease. I'm going to bring that foot slightly further forward to take out any excessive blood doses. With the top arm, I'm going to place that onto the pelvis, and I'm just going to hook that down with my thumb nice and securely. My fingers are going to come across and I'm going to be down towards the level of L5-S1 and I'm palpating at all times. With my bottom arm, I'm just going to rotate the patient nice and firmly down to that level of dysfunction. Get the patient to hold onto his forearm. I'm just going to come underneath that elbow and I'm going to lock that down nice and securely at all times. As you can see, I have a towel under the patient's armpit. This is going to help me avoid excessive compression of the ribcage and it's also there for patient comfort. With my flat arm and my forearm, I'm avoiding excessive compression of the piriformis, which can be quite uncomfortable. I'm going to bring that leg just slightly off, making sure the patient feels secure at all times. And I'm now going to engage the barrier. In this position, the barrier is engaged. I get the patient to take a deep breath in. The patient's going to breathe out. As the patient breathes out, barrier is engaged. Direct thrust down the line of the femur, cavitating L5 from S1. I'm now going to put the patient back into a position of ease. Just roll back for me. That's the lumbar roll manipulation, focusing on L5 S1.